Folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. We're out here at our new home and 40 acres that we have and uh, been waiting for a day like this in the fall. You know, just a beautiful day. Temps are down, but all the leaves are gone. A lot of the weeds and everything else are down and you can kind of see some hidden treasures that are um, just kind of buried on the edge of the fields, edge of the woods, that kind of thing. I thought we'd take you on a little tour and just uh, do some pit stops along the way and show you what we have here. I'm curious, I'm open to ideas. Some of the stuff is maybe salvageable, some of it is not. Maybe we should just leave it rotten away and, and I don't know, maybe there's something we can put on display, but uh, this is fun. Any property that I've ever owned or that I've leased, it's it's fun to kind of go treasure hunting and see what's out there and and more often than not, you leave it there and let it just do its thing and, and just kind of blend in with nature and get buried away. So why don't you come along for a ride? We'll give you a little tour here. I don't know if we're gonna run into any collector's items or not, but I'd be curious to know, have any of you struck gold on your property? Alrighty folks, so uh, this first spot here, we have three different kind of rusty old pieces of farm equipment. Looks like some sort of a, a cultivator uh, right here in the middle and, and flanked on either side by what looks like hay equipment, maybe some sort of a, a rake or something of, some kind and, and days gone by and then this this guy here too which well it's got steel wheels on the front looks like something you can turn around here it's got uh, spring tooth tines all sorts of extra stuff that's kind of laying on there a bunch of these little things whatever they are they're just kind of resting on here that they maybe had extras or, or what I don't know but uh, some more loose kind of tines here we can see some chain over there, wagon wheels on the back. I don't know, it's interesting. I'm sure somebody out there can tell me what this was, but I don't really know exactly. And so I think really we have two generations of homestead or homesteaders here on this land. So this really old steel, I don't think, well, I'm, I'm certain it wasn't used <laughs> by, the, by the folks that we bought it from. This stuff looks way older than that. You can see, I mean, the, the steel is just it's just rotting away. Well, the story goes that this, a, a huge chunk of this block was all owned by the same family. And, and as you can expect, they sold off chunk after chunk after chunk over time. And, and this last 40 was kind of um, the last stronghold that they had for a while. So I'm gonna assume that this is their equipment from, from long ago, but uh, it's not, I can't repurpose it. Well, I can't reuse it, I should say, but it would be cool to maybe get it out of here and make some sort of a display with it. Um, sort of paying respects to days gone by and it's just kind of cool to look at and see too. So the previous owner right before me had uh, you know the, the Highlands cattle, um, the long-haired the long-haired cattle that uh, are over in Scotland or the UK somewhere that's what he had always wanted and so I believe he had one bull and maybe a, a couple of cows for a little while um, but that's what he used in the pastures that we have up here that we're no longer using it for and I think that's what these were for. It seems kind of like overkill though but you know, he, he took me on a, on a quick tour of this place and said he just had the one bull and just a couple of cattle beyond that um, for just a couple of years. But I mean, he's got a lot of, a lot invested for just, <laughs> for just that. So it's kind of crazy. These are, they're rotting out and everything else. I don't think I can reuse them. If you got any ideas, I'd like to hear it, but uh, they look like some sort of like a feed, a feed bin of some kind, I guess. Now this guy here looks like a water tank and uh, I don't see, I mean, it's got some surface rust. Seems pretty solid though. I'm gonna try to repurpose this actually as um, a watering hole for deer. So I'll probably sink it, you know, dig down a little hole and bury it in there a bit, and keep it full of water, see what happens. But um, again, I don't have any plans for, for animals around here and unless there's some other good way to repurpose it, but this is definitely salvageable. And you'll see we've got piles of of timbers and posts out here too. So uh, some big six by six, um, you know, just, simple fence posts, all sorts of stuff. And, and I'm hoping some of that stuff is reusable. We're gonna, yeah, you know, change up, you know, with a garden, wanna put fencing around there and all that kind of thing. So if we can use stuff that's already here, save some money, I'm open to it. And so these hidden gems are all saw cut concrete slabs. You can see there's a bolt sticking up out of this one. I don't, I don't know what the heck these things are from. And so these, I mean, they're really, they're in nice shape, nice, nice slabs and there's uh well look at that there's another bolt sticking out through this one too that's kind of weird i don't know what these things were used for but um there's one two three four five six i feel like yeah there's a seventh one over there. there's at least seven of these things could be some others hiding in here too but we've got this little hill that goes from our shop right up here and uh these would be perfect 
just to kind of cut into that hill and make steps going up here. So I uh, am definitely going to plan on reusing these. You can see there's some sort of like paint or coating or something on here too. I have no idea what these were for. Anyway, they're in good shape, so we'll put them to work. Hey, I got one more disc here of some kind. Looks like a pull type. You got a little hitch mount here. I think they're adjustable. I don't know. A long time ago, do something with this too. Looks like you can crank it in and out. It's kind of crazy how things change over time. I mean, this is obviously pretty lightweight, all things considered, but uh, pretty cool hiding out here. You can see there's some substantial rust on here. This thing might completely fall apart if I hooked it up and tried to use it. I might have to give that a shot though. Folks, I want to take just a second to tell you about our channel sponsor, RimGuard. They are a liquid ballast solution. They line up with exactly what we do here on Good Works, which is talking about tractors and tractor safety. We see it as simple as this. If you own a tractor, you need RimGuard. In fact, some tractors include RimGuard as standard out of the factory. Liquid ballast is simply weight, all right? And this weight hides inside your tires. It stays there all the time. It's a safety concern because tractors are almost always too light and too tippy out of the factory. The number one attachment used by every tractor owner is their front end loader. So when you pick up something heavy on the front end, your back end wants to pick up off the ground. RimGuard liquid ballast helps keep your back end planted to the ground. But beyond safety, it's gonna help maintain traction because if those rear tires, those power driving tires are on the ground, you have traction to go where you need to, and you're gonna operate more efficiently because if those rear tires aren't on the ground, you're not gonna pick up as much as you need to or take it where you need to go. RimGuard is all natural. That means it's safe. It is the heaviest per gallon, all natural product on the market. It's not gonna freeze, it's not gonna corrode, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. To find a dealer, visit RimGuardSolutions.com to make your tractor safer today. All right, so we moved on and I absolutely love this little section of our property. It's uh, just a, an evergreen forest, you know, a little mini forest here. It's, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred feet long by 100 feet wide or 150 feet wide, but uh, pretty cool area. Um, anyway, we got this, this old little feeding pen here, I guess it is of some kind. And this looks to be in plenty of good shape to uh, maybe sell it off and recoup a little bit. I don't know what these things go for or not, but just bolts together in sections it looks like and uh, it's been sitting here for some time, but steel seems good all around it. Definitely could uh, serve a good purpose for somebody else, but just not us. You know, so now we're over by where we got the, uh, the 2038R stuck in the creek earlier this year and i mean it's literally 30 yards that way buried out here is this old culvert i don't know if this thing is <laughs> reusable or not there's there's holes eating right through it it's pretty rickety ah yeah this thing's completely <laughs> it's been sitting here a long time so we're not gonna be able to reuse this guy unfortunately it's uh yeah, I'll shoot. We'll leave it sit here and some critters can hide in there and get some cover when they need to. But uh, that's too bad. This would have been perfect to put on that creek. You know, so the last, the last stop on our tour here is gonna be this old firewood pile. And we got a, um, a goat house over there. We used to have as goats, but Man, we've tried burning this a couple different times and it's just all rotted. You can see how it's just rotted and coming apart. I think we're just gonna have to, to get rid of it all and I can't think of anything else to do with it besides throw it in a corner in the woods or out in a field somewhere and let nature do its thing. It kind of stinks now. You know, you look down low and there looks to be, like there, there could be some salvageable firewood, but all the stuff up top, I've kind of reached down in between here and grabbed some pieces out and tried it, even with a good fire going and it doesn't do anything. So. It's unfortunate, but we got a whole other stack of firewood that we're cutting and want to cut more and put it here in its place because it's a good spot for it. I guess we're gonna have to dig it on out. And so this is the uh, the goat house here and, and this whole little overgrown area used to be all fenced in and you can see back in there, there's some, there's some uh, metal posts that were used to keep it fenced into. And this right here is where the goats used to hang out. And I think, 
I think we're gonna try goats. Uh, probably not until next year at some point, we kind of get our, our feet under us here at the new place, but we wanna try goats and chickens and that's about as much into the animals we're gonna have besides our dog and, and the kids. And my wife might say, me too, but that's another story. So I think we'll, we'll probably leave it right in this area. It seems to be a good spot as any, um, kind of out of the way, but fairly close to the house. Critters are gonna be anywhere. We have coyotes and, and fox all over the place on trail cameras and whatnot, so that'll be a battle, but uh, we've never had them, so we can kind of figure out, learn as we go. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and again, I'm sure you've got some good ideas. Maybe I should just throw all this, stuff, this old stuff away, but uh, if you do have a good idea, I guess let me know down below, and I would love to know if you found any real hidden gold on your property. That'd be pretty cool to hear about. And of course, we do sell tractor attachments. We ship them all over the country, so if you own a tractor, well, heck, even a skid steer or an ATV or UTV, we probably have something for that too. So check us out at goodworkstractors.com. We'd love to help you out. If you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.